This is an Elvis Envoy by Dolphin. It's actually a special edition by Dolphin Motorhomes. It's the CV80 and it's a really nice four person family motorhome. It's six meters long. You can drive this on a C1 license. It seats four, it sleeps four, and it's a really brilliant design. So I'm gonna give you a full tour of this one, explain what it does and what it's all about. And we'll start on the outside. So this one's actually got inbuilt LPG tanks, and that's filled from here. And the other things you've got on the outside, that's your water filler, slides up like that, and it locks, obviously. These are drains for your fresh water and your gray water. Uh, that's a heater shut off down there uh, and the vent. That's the cassette for the toilet, and that one there is for 240 volt power. So if you're in a campsite with 240 volt, you plug into there, you've got 240 volt power in the vehicle. It's finished in a rather nice Lanzarote grey. You've got the pop top, as you can see on the top, and that's the TV aerial tucked in behind it. Alloy wheels on this one as well. It's a nice looking piece of kit. Let's take a wander all the way around. The layout on this I think is particularly good because the lounge area is here at the back and that's great on a lovely day. You can have these back doors open and really connect these two areas. So we're going to take you in from the side so we can see all of this first of all. A couple of other things to show you. You've got a reversing camera built into the high level brake light. There's also an awning on this one. There's also lighting underneath the awning. There's a lot of good kit on here. Let's enter through the sliding side door. Thusly, that drops all the way back. That one there is a bug screen, so you can have the door open, slide that across and stop the bugs getting in. That's a nice feature. And then there's a button just here. That powers out the step. And in we go. Now, as you'd normally expect, it's got the swiveling seats at the front. This one's got the six-speed manual transmission. It's actually based on a Fiat 2.3 diesel engine 140 horsepower and so you've got the usual fiat dashboard across there like so but very nice seats that the armrest that dropped down as well really nice when you're on a long journey and you've also got the little dining area here as well so that works well but what is good is the fact that it's got the seat belts on this one as well and the headrest and that's how you can carry four people when you're driving the other thing you've got here actually is really good headroom. All the way through this is standing headroom. It's absolutely fantastic. I'm over six foot tall. I can stand up in here, no problem at all. What else have we got up at this end? We'll work our way through. We've got storage up in places like this. We've got little reading lights tucked around the place. If we come over onto this side, control systems are up here. Now this one has got heating. This works either off the LPG tanks or off of 240 power. So if you're plugged in at a campsite, you don't have to be using your LPG you can in fact just run it straight off of the electric. Um, main switch here for powering everything up, your light switches then are here, your water pump is here. This is giving you things like battery level, water level, all that kind of stuff, all controlled and managed from there. And that one there tells you how much LPG you've got in your LPG tank. It's very, very helpful. If you come down here then, kitchen is here, there's a lift up section. So if you need a little bit more work surface, you've got it. Also, you can see down here's a load of drawers down underneath here. Really helpful, a lot of storage about the place. You can see it here, you can see it here, and so forth. Sink underneath that one, as you probably worked out for yourself by the fact it's got a tap. And then a really nice cooker because you've got the two gas rings, but also an electric ring. So again, if you're plugged in at a campsite, you can run that without using LPG. And then underneath there, you've got the oven and also a grill. More storage down underneath, yet more storage in places like this. There's just a ton of storage in this one. And then a decent sized fridge as well, so that lives in there. Freezer compartment at the top. Very nice. It's everywhere, isn't it? Look at that. So that is that. We'll press on back a little bit further. Now this is clever. This is this lounge area I was talking about because you've got the doors at the back and this then on a lovely day, open those doors, open this whole area out to the fresh air. Absolutely fantastic. All of these windows have got blinds that come down like that, but also you can pull them a bit further and you can have them as bug screens because of course the windows open for ventilation. If you're some of the few gnats or whatever about mosquitoes, that'll keep them out. 
get more storage up here about the place. And I really like the funky lighting they've got around in places like this and up here, that looks really good. We've got smoke alarm and carbon monoxide alarm up on the top there. And then these are these rear doors that we saw again with the blinds that dropped down like so. Now this one will make into a bed. And what you do is you just literally pull these top sections out like this. You can see how they come out. And then these come down and these backrests here drop in to give you the infills. It's really neat because it means you don't have to be carrying extra cushions about the place just to make that into a bed. Uh, TV can go on here from the television. That's where that would fit. And you've got an aerial socket that's through to that area that we saw on the on the roof of the vehicle and also USBs here and 240 volt power again when you're plugged into the electric that's giving you ring main in the vehicle. Yet more storage up here and then toilet is in here and what you've got is not just the toilet and the sink but there's in fact a shower in here so that falls out like so and then that hooks into there and you've also got a bit more storage in here for you toothpaste and other bits and pieces like so fantastic the other thing you've got here and they really have thought of everything because we had the table which we saw up there but there is a freestanding table in here you can just see it tucked away there and that can be situated back here if you want to eat back here but also it means you can take it outside if you're having a picnic or whatever you've got a table then ready to go if we stroll on forward we're not finished yet nice isn't it I like this light wood because we mentioned the pop top and this is it look at this so there's a whole basically other room up here check that out so basically like a double bed up there this netting means if you're using it for kids you can keep them safe get them secured up there and if you want to drop this down you just pull on these and the whole thing just drops down clips into place and you're ready to roll that's absolutely fantastic and if you're wondering how to get up there well these little chaps here are for this ladder here so that goes into there and then you just walk up and in but that really does give you it pretty much sort of doubles the size doesn't it because the whole length of the vehicle is used twice it's used up here and it's used down here i think that's absolutely fantastic that's a really nice motorhome or camper van i suppose i should say to be accurate there we go that's about the size of that let's come back out of here take another look from the outside and I am going to say massive thanks to Dolphin Motorhomes they organise this tour I'll put a link to those guys in the description let me know what you think in the comments as ever and as ever we'll catch you on another one of these real soon take care bye bye